Hello and welcome back to some more Critic Captain 2021 and part two of the Road to World Number One with England. And today we've got the second of two test matches against New Zealand. I'm, I'm very, very sorry that it took so long for part two to come out, but I have been embroiled in house move stuff. Um, so unfortunately, I've only been able to, to sort of focus on the, the F1 stuff. But uh, I do want to sort of show you what I have been up to. You can sort of see behind me um, in the setup there. That uh, has obviously took a long, long time. So you can you can sort of see why things have been uh, possibly taking as long as they have with it all. Um, but yes, I'm happy enough with my setup now. So hopefully we will be back with regular Critic Captain content. This is obviously me getting back into it right about now. Now, what we have done is name an unchanged squad for this match. I don't, I don't really think a lot needed to be changed. It was a gutter losing that first match, but uh, you know we we didn't do it a, a lot wrong, uh, and I think potentially we can we can go and destroy the New Zealand team here. We have got a bit of cloud cover. Uh, particularly on day one and day four, so maybe we do want to be bowling first. Um, but looking at these, <laughs> the the pitch is going to get very very bad towards the end of the match. But if we if we have a good strong first innings with the ball, then potentially we could be on for a winner. Um, I am going to bring in Sam Curran though instead of Mark Wood. I think he offers a little bit more with the ball, and 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 I do. I do think that that is important. If we have a look against New Zealand, Mark Wood did only get the one wicked in the last match. Anderson, Broad, Leach all getting more, even Stokes. So, yes, I think that's the right decision. So let's get into the match. Let's call tails. And, uh, well, we are bowling first anyway. I was going to choose to bowl first. So uh, it hasn't actually affected us too much there um, with what I was originally intending. So here we go then. Uh, highlights, low... Um, and what do we want to do? We want to come round the wicket to, to these guys. So here we go, James Anderson. Anything here? Is it going to let me? There we go. It's finally let me ball the first over. But here we come then. Broad to Conway, and that's out. And the batsman's on his way. So Conway gone for five. Excellent uh, first wicket there for us to get. And New Zealand one down. Here's Broad then into oh, Williamson. Um, well, hopefully Anderson can get in on the action as well. Uh, for some reason, Broad has, has gone around the other side. But here we here he comes. Broad oh, to Williamson. Yeah. Oh, and that's a that's a dropped catch, and that was a huge chance for us to to get uh, the big fish out. Yeah, Curran comes in. Balls an absolute stonker to Williams. Very next ball gets him. That was fantastic. And uh, Joe Root with the catch. And the big fish is gone. And New Zealand two down here after electing to bat first. Remember, we haven't chosen to ball first, even though I would have. Soundly beaten, but it sort of means we've got nothing, nothing to lose. And Curran gets his second wicket. Lay them gone for uh, 17 now. And Curran into Blundell. Oh, my word. What a delivery that is. That is absolutely terrific. And Well, Stokes from the other end. Hopefully he can do something. But lunch interval day one. And it's 80 for three. And it is going to get even cloudier in this second session. Anderson into oh, Blundell. Not quite. But Anderson and Curran hopefully going to form that's a beautiful partnership. I think that's going to... Good Head decision. down the leg side. Let's just have a little look on Hawkeye. And it was indeed going to slide down the leg side. Curran comes in and Blundell gone for nine. And Curran with his third wicket. Anderson into Neil Taylor now. Oh, close. oh Anderson bowling beautifully. Not getting the rewards though. Curran though is getting the rewards. That's his fourth wicket. Repaying our faith beautifully here with... Uh, a terrific set of wickets, and well, Jack Leach, he's been waiting all day to have a have a go at this wicket, what a and that shows in his first over. He's got uh, Watling gone for three, and well, Anderson coming into Young now. The pads, and is it out? The 
Bowler Again, another beautiful really delivery, but that is uh, just outside the line, unfortunately. And it was actually missing the stumps as well. Get Stokesy in for another spell. Stokes into Jameson. That's out. That is out. And New Zealand now seven down. And this looking like an excellent toss to lose. Leach coming into Young. But remember, the tail enders well, were what appealing. messed us up in the first match. The upset, but the umpires unmoved. I think that was. Yeah, well, a pitch just outside leg, unbelievably. But a couple of balls later, he's got another chance here. Great ball, but the batsman survives. Not quite. T interval day one then. 187 for seven. We're going to bring back current. Current of Agra. Gone. It. Five wicket haul for Sam Current. Absolutely brilliant innings for him. And Stu Broad is going to come in from the other end. He bowled pretty well before. That's Young gone for 48. And now just one more wicket to get. Ooh, how did that miss? It's the, the two tail enders here. And that's going to be out. Broad gets his third wicket. And Trent Bold gone for one. And New Zealand 205 all out. You've got to be pleased with that one. So uh, Rory Burns and Dom Sibley come to the crease. And we know fine well that they could be out very quickly. And Sibley gone for his third ball of the innings. And that is not what we wanted. That is a poor start for us. We wanted to... Play more like that and try and make sure that we are in the best possible state. And that's an excellent shot from Crawley there. They're appealing. No, he's still there. Just. Yeah, good shot. That's a confident appeal. No, the batsman was beaten, but it was missing the stumps. Well, no oh, point Burns point. gone. He's out for 12. I mean, Crawley's playing nicely. Hopefully, Root can do the same. Good start. That's four. 50 is up. And we do survive to the end of day one. 54 for two. Still 150 behind. It would be nice to get a little first innings lead here. You know, even if it's 50-60 runs, it's something to work with, especially on this bowler's orientated pitch. Yeah, that's good, good delivery. There is 50 for Zach Crawley. Good start of the summer for him, you have to say, and as somebody that could quite easily move up to... Sibley or Burns' position if, if required. That's an excellent thing to see in the 100 up now. I'm starting to play a little bit more freely here. And these two, which is good to see. It was miles away from the ball. Eh? And now, the New Zealand lead is definitely being chopped. Fine sweep shot. That's a good shot from, from Crawley. Root playing well as well. Remember, we need to win this match to draw the series. A savage shot. Which wouldn't be the, the worst start that we've ever had to a road to world number one. That's a good delivery. But Root's all right. He's closing in on 50 as well. And that's a, another cracker down to third man. And there is his 50. A captain's knock from Joe Root. He gets himself to 50. Zach Crawley going along very nicely as well. He's trickling away oh, a to 100. And it's gone for four. And I'm not entirely sure if Zach Crawley has had a test century in his short career so far. Uh, let's have a little look. Uh, test match, one century. And it was a 267. How could I forget that wonderful innings that he had? And in the first test match, 36 and 5, didn't exactly uh, bark up any trees but uh, you know played pretty well in that first innings at least 36 you know is, is a decent one and there is his sentry let's watch that again a beautiful sweep there from Zach Crawley 
And that is four runs, and that is Excellent his placement. century. And that's his century. And this is what we've done. We've played the conditions very, very well. Because although it's cloudy in this region, it's certainly not as overcast as it was um, possibly Monday afternoon. And, you know, we that this has turned into more of a batsman's pitch, a little bit harder, a little bit drier. But uh, Crawley's finally gone. He's out for 104. So Ben Stokes comes to the crease now. Brilliantly oh, held. And he's gone as well. He's gone for a third ball duck. Not the first of the innings to go for a, a duck. And Ollie Paul Timing. gets off the, the mark very, very aggressively there. He Beautiful. played well in that first test match. Let's see if he can continue his decent form. That's very, very close indeed. No, he can't. He's out for 11. Josh Butler now comes to the crease. That's a powerful shot. Wrong and it seems definitely, you know, this is a, a pitch that you've got to get in on. But once you do get in, there's runs there for the taking. Oh, that's terrific from Josh Butler there. Oh, he looks in the mood. He looks in the mood. He's already strike rate over 100. Oh, terrific straight drive from... Joe Root. Now, tell you what, you know, we've got 40 minutes here before tea. Let's try and take this game away from oh, New well Zealand. Because, as I say, if we get 60, 70 oh, runs yeah. ahead, at least, which we're already 40, it's something to work with. I mean, we're five down here. If it was anyone except England, you would potentially expect to go and get a 150-200 lead from this point but we know that the collapse is probably coming but Joe Root very very close to his Excellent first hundred job. of the summer and there well no that's Butler <laughs> getting a little bit excited here but that's going to be Joe Root's sentry and a terrific three figures for the captain Joe Root and that is what we're talking about and we are hurtling towards 300 now Joe Root becomes the top scorer this has to be close. Well, that hit the bat first. I'm not sure I did hit the bat, but uh, just outside the line, and that's what saved him there. That's four runs for Joss. And again, and as I say, you know, he is playing like he's in the mood here. And what an over that was. Plenty of runs off that one. And uh, 2.93 for five at T. So, come out with that same intent, I think. That's a good looking It's got to be the message. The 300 is up. Let's be proactive out there. Let's Superb attack. Drive off the back foot. And by the end of day two, a huge shout goes up. Get ourselves in an unassailable position. But Butler's gone for 60. What an innings he had, though. 60 off 58. And now Sam Curran comes to the crease. We're going to reduce the aggression of Joe Root. Beautiful ball. See how. Long we can stay out there Long now. Shot. We've got plenty of time in this match. That's something that we're, we don't have to worry That's about. Going to be runs. But I'll tell you what, Sam Curran, he's looking in the mood as well. Fabulous shot. Four. He's beaten by that. So, leading by well over 100 now when getting towards that 150, 200 mark. That's oh, a what a catch. Back. Curran gone. He's out for 20. Nice little cameo from him there, though. He's miscued that Oof. one. Thick edge from Stu Broad. Oh, I thought Root was going to be out there. We have to tell Root to, to hold strike here. Although Stu Broad can bat when he wants to. I don't exactly trust him in this one. Let's, let's get that 200 run lead. Ouch. Ah, root gone. What a shame. He's out for 140. So now we're in. Not a shot the bats would like to see again. New Zealand's territory. We'd like to survive well to the bowled. end of the day and have a little bit of a bash in the morning. A little bit of a slog. That could be out. Look like a potential top edge there. Didn't seem to happen. Fine shot. Good shot from Jack Leach. 
Oh, cap. that's how caught and bald. And Jimmy Anderson now survives to the end of the day. End of day two, 381 for nine, a lead of 176. And we are going to go crazy in this first over of the day. It'll probably get them out. But... Oh, what a shame. A broad gone, second ball of the day. 381 all out and uh, we're straight back out there looking to, to take advantage. And, you know, Jimmy Anderson and Stu Broad bowled beautifully in the first innings. And Latham's gone, first ball. Yes, James Anderson with the wicket. He's gone first ball. And what a start. And uh, they need to score at least 177 here to... At least make us bat again, and you know it's gonna be a, a tall order for New Zealand. Broad into Conway now, oh, edged and gone. Brilliant from Stuart Broad. He's gone for 13, and it's now 24 for two. Well, Ross Taylor was a thorn in That's our side good. in the first innings. Can we possibly get him out early here? Anderson oh, in, and Taylor's gone for 14, and this has just been sensational from the golden oldies current in Williamson he's gone as well 64 for 4 apologies to any New Zealanders watching out there but uh, this has been a demolition job Good ball. You had to... and Sam Curran has been at the centre of it what a first I innings he had there's another ball straight in at the pads Blundell fine, gone certainly looked out. and New Zealand are now 5 down Terrific delivery. Blundell gone for 18. And you have to say it. It's looking like match over now. And BJ Watlin. Very, very lucky there not to get out. Stokes into Watlin. That was close. Not quite. And I've got to get Leachy in now. See what he can do on this turning pitch. That's, a That's wonderful gone. Catch. He's out. And Young gone for 28. Watling is, of course, probably the last big fish for New Zealand. But it uh, looks like they are going to make us bat again. It didn't look like it was going to be likely at one point. And, well, well Jameson's he gone. He's feathered he's that one. Go. That was way too wide, and he didn't need to play at that. Anderson into Wagner now. He's, he's gone as well. Catch. Jimmy Anderson on a hat trick into Patel doesn't uh, doesn't happen unfortunately. But T interval on day three, we still lead by eighteen runs and need two wickets to to win the match essentially. Anderson into Patel, oh that could be out. No, that was so close, just outside the line I think. Oh, he was a lucky boy there. That was a really good delivery from Jimmy Anderson. Let's bring Curran back in, see if he can finish off his match with a good couple of wickets. We still are in the lead. Curran into Patel, oh, that's out. All over the place. And uh, we still lead by five as Trent Bold comes in, the final man. Yeah, let's not risk Jimmy Anderson getting injured for the sake of a five wicket all. Struck him in line. That's outside the, the line. I think a pitched outside leg as well, yeah. Double whammy and it was missing leg stubs. So basically, not out is, is what we've concluded. They have had a little whack at it, so we are going to have to bat again. The new ball is available, so let's uh, chuck it to Ben Stokes. Why not? Uh, obviously, Anderson is quite tired. I don't want to risk him getting injured. Well, they're going to survive till day four. And we'll get Jimmy Anderson in now with Sam Curran on the new ball. And you'd expect us to finish it off fairly well, soon. And there it is. BJ Wallen, what an effort from him. 62. But he is gone. And uh, New Zealand, 199 all out. Meaning that we need 24 runs to win. Let's get out there and let's show them who's boss. I mean, 11 from the first over. That is what you're talking about. Confident shout. But Burns is gone. And again, not having the best match there. And Zach Crawley comes in. Wanting to hit the winning runs, and that's exactly what he does. And we win the second test match by nine wickets. 
an excellent performance, you would say, all round from top to bottom. We wanted a ball first. We got that. Uh, the decision was out of our hands. New Zealand took it. We bowled very, very well in that first inning. Sam Curran, a terrific match. He, he has completely justified the selection. He was good with a bat, decent with a ball. Uh, sorry, he was good with a ball, decent with a bat. Um, getting, what was that, nine wickets for uh, 99 which is is very very good going James Anderson showing his worth as well 4 for 41 in that second inning and Stu Bro 3 for 20 keeping those runs nice and tight Joe Root 140 brilliant innings from the captain Zach Crawley 104 as well what a match he had scoring 115 runs in it uh, and you know we're, we're in a very good position and a very confident position we've got a an 11 that i believe in obviously joffre archer t still to come into that squad i don't know exactly where he fits in does he fit in for a stewart broad do we rotate anderson and broad like the england team do in real life I'm, I'm not entirely sure where he fits into that setup but overall a very very strong series for us um, you know, we could have won the first match as well. It was a, a toss of a coin in the end. Um, but New Zealand, they are second in the Test Championship. They, of course, fought the, the real-life Test Championship final against India, and I'm, I'm sure that's what will happen here. Um, and, and, you know, we will just have to see how we go. And uh, hopefully we we push on and, and win this Test Championship in, in the future. Uh, but let's have a little look at the rankings. That's something that we haven't looked at so far. I'm assuming you can still... Yes, the world ratings. So here are the world ratings. India leading the way on 29 points. South Africa in second there. We are currently in third, uh, level with Pakistan. And let's have a little look at the internationals we've got coming up. So we've got uh, some limited over stuff against uh, Sri Lanka uh, and Pakistan and then then we've got the big one the five match test series against India I'm fairly confident of that I think we can do really really well and then uh, uh, more limited over stuff against Bangladesh and uh, Pakistan then the World Cup 2020 and of course the Ashes series at the end of the year uh, before some test matches in the West Indies in the new year um, but that is everything. That is where we are. Uh, that's where we are at with our with our team. And we've got India coming to England in the very near future. And I can't wait for it. So if you have enjoyed that, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for more Cricket Captain content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.